But I managed to crack him and he gave the others away. I'll mark the place on your map. I'm going to hunt down the military? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna let the, the exploder do his thing over there. I know this guy might get a yell off on us. Nope. We successfully evaded that. And then we're gonna- Oh, no! Welcome back to the episode of Last Elder Survival Season 2. And as you lads and lassies can see, we are rocking the Kevlar armor. That is the ultimate reward of Season 2. I want to go ahead and show this off for y'all. In addition to a couple of our infected weapons as well. And also address something that I've seen a little bit of confusion on already happening. Which is the fact that a lot of people think you can only get Kevlar through paying in the game. And that's actually not true. Because if you guys follow me over here to the Season Rewards. Now there is the opportunity to get a full set of full durability kevlar over here at the end of the premium pass and there's also another opportunity for this as well if you guys follow me over here to the uh what call season savings pass where if you do accumulate enough points you will also have the opportunity to get these and a little bit of a harpoon gun as well but as you guys can see i have not purchased either of these in this instance but we are rocking a little bit of kevlar so i just want to make sure that you guys are aware that just by i don't want to spoil too much make sure to stay tuned throughout some of the videos but just by doing the story that last day on earth has incorporated in season two that we're going to be doing throughout today's video you will be able to actually access and unlock this kevlar armor by the end of it exactly how wait and see because this is a little bit of a, a sneak peek from the future after we've done a little bit of stuff and you guys will see exactly what we've done but for now just want to make sure to show off the kevlar armor see that you guys do see what it is like and all that type of jazz and also the armor on it the kevlar armor has eight armor the swat helmet as you guys can see only has seven the body armor and pants both have two more armor than their swat body parts and then the shoes have the exact same movement speed but plus one armor over its counterpart as well and it just makes for probably the coolest looking set of everything and the fact it boosts our defense up to 38 we are also rocking the infected saw blade mace and the infected cleaver which at first glance do not appear to do extra damage now the special thing with these infected weapons is that if you do choose to use them you can actually see that they inflict significantly more damage on a zombies i believe the way that they work i don't think that it's double damage because you guys just saw we were doing 26 damage with our infected cleaver what i believe happens is that it's like a guaranteed critical hit or something like that with whatever weapon you are using if you do use it upon a zombie at least from my understanding of things which is incredibly cool unfortunately their durability is a lot lower but they should be more powerful when dealing with zombies like this infected saw blade base over here i'm gonna see if i could come across maybe a big boy like a toxic abomination or something to showcase off of that kind of power that it does hold and you guys are also seeing the kevlar armor in action here as well and the little amounts of damage that they are able to inflict because look at that they're literally doing two damage a hit like these guys have nothing on what we are rocking over here and let's just go ahead and continue getting some damage in but yeah so while they are more powerful weapons you do need to take into account that they are going to be wearing off a little bit quicker and here we actually have a guy in kevlar but as you guys can see we are not doing double damage to this fella over here but i'm more than happy to battle you with my infected saw oh my god all of his armor disappeared but i'm more than happy to battle you with my infected saw blade mace my compadre and this is actually something i wish i knew this a little bit earlier before i went about doing the boss battles because actually having these weapons when you are fighting a lot of the special zombies and potentially the bosses of season two is going to be really useful because they might very well be able to give you like an advantage of doing tons of extra damage plus could you imagine sneak attacking someone with an infected saw blade mace and how much power that could potentially punch like that's why i was hoping to find like a toxic abomination here or something but i am not having any luck with that so far unfortunately we are only finding little zombies here and there so maybe we'll go over to a red zone real quick and see if we could find that so while we hunt for one of these big lads that we can hopefully get a sneak attack off on like i was saying this is definitely going to be some weapons that you might want to invest in especially before you potentially do any of the boss battles that season two does have to offer because you will be able to take down those bosses significantly faster than otherwise in yeet dude oh my god those toxic spitters just fall apart in one hit i want oh there we go we got how did you notice me what okay well you guys should be able to see the power of the saw blade mace in full and look at that 82 damage is what it does and honestly you know what i i want to say i think the way that it works is actually for normal zombies i think that this might do 1.5 times damage and then if you actually do it on season two zombies i think the damage does double which is where this would become potentially super useful and like i'm saying being able to sneak attack someone with that type of power and capability could be huge so definitely try to stockpile these which again can be crafted by get out of here toxic better i see you 
which again this stuff can be crafted with infected flesh and combining that at the workbench over at uh, what you call Barker's camp you can combine like these eyeballs with like a saw blade base for example to produce that and hopefully you guys can mass produce some even save some for after the season and like this is stuff that's gonna come in handy for really dealing with any type of zombie which is gonna be really freaking cool and definitely something I want to make sure that you guys are aware of so feel free to let me know what you guys think of the Kevlar armor and these infected weapons as well and hopefully dude I hope this infected stuff actually sticks around after season two and that we are able to like craft infected saw blade maces and or infected cleavers afterwards because the fact that they work wonders on normal zombies as well is really cool I wish I could modify these two but unfortunately it does not look like it's gonna be possible Yeet! Well, I'll go ahead and get one more hit off on him. And just in case y'all are confused, this is the workbench that I'm talking about that you are going to be able to use because if you go ahead and you guys can see the recipes, toss in some eyeballs with one of your weapons, you will get the infected weapon. It doesn't say, like, when you get the weapon in your inventory, it doesn't seem like it's better, but it does have that secret property where against zombies and especially against season two infected zombies, it is a lot more powerful, so it could very well be a very good tool for you guys, especially if you were planning on using, like, a saw blade mace. Toss some of these things on it and you might be able to take down some very powerful enemies and potentially use it on some bosses but uh, with that said with that done let's gonna wrap it up for the little kevlar and infected weapon spiel i had for y'all let's go and dive into the meat of today's video we are currently at the infected base that we are checking out and we're about to be making our way down into the depths we cleared out the top level of this base we got this guy following us around for some reason but we're diving down into the depths where the first boss of season two of Wage, which so far from everything we've seen from season two is looking freaking insane, bro. Oh, hey, dude, that's so nice of them. In case you guys don't know, we kind of uh, died in the last episode. But as you guys can see, if you die, you actually get your stuff back, which is incredibly like, I'm not gonna lie. I fully thought that our stuff was gonna be kind of like stuck inside of this room where, let me just say, there's a super nasty boss we're about to be battling. There's also a new event we've yet to check out that we're gonna be giving a look ski doodle and mm, I'd like, I don't wanna leave anything. Ah, I'll leave, I'll leave that Glock behind for now. I just wanna make sure that we are picking up the most important stuff. And at least this is good to know for next time that I don't need to bring additional loot because we literally get all of our loot back unless like we did use something up. But uh, yeah, we got some really awesome stuff that we checked out in season two so far in the first episode. Make sure you guys check it out in case you have not already. But uh, long story short, this is our current roadblock. A rather tough boss battle we gotta do. Current strategy, well, you guys will see what's going on. But long story short, we're going to be trying to utilize these Glocks and these Kalashnikov 47s in addition to the medical supplies. And potentially, we got to whip out that gas mask at a strategic point as well. So without further ado, and ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to my compadre, the Specimen Screamer. Who, by the way, I don't know if I could, uh, how to describe this, but they like to yell. When you get a yell, Screamer. Okay, this is actually not good. Woo! There we go. I got hit with the jukes. That's a good thing that I was actually able to get that juke in there in time. So, yeah. The Screamer will literally be able to do that. And also, at a certain amount of... No, 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 no. Nice. We were able to basically barely dodge that. I'm kind of waiting for my roll to regenerate just a little bit. But, yeah. Pretty much this thing acts like a frenzy giant. And I kind of want to get him over to that post. Oh, no, 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 no. If he gets to us, he will be able to do a lot of damage, which is not good. So, we definitely don't want that to be happening. I'm just trying to bring him over this way. He will go ahead and yell. I'll go need up a little bit of food to bring ourselves back up to an okay area but yeah long story short this screamer is capable of yelling and you do not want to be stuck close to him when he starts doing that okie dokie now's the time though we're gonna get a couple of bolts into him and then i want to deal with these little riot zombies over there and hopefully not get yelled at by the screamer i just wasted that skill not good timing on that can you guys please put those shields down oh nice i can actually get a couple of shots off into that fella please no 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 because that pretty much stand okie dokie y'all my recording literally decided to cut out in the middle of this boss battle because I ran out of room on my hard drive. So I've literally been running this guy around a little bit. We took out the two riot zombies. Hopefully you guys saw that part as they appeared. That looks like a pretty nasty chamber over there. And we also just made the realization that it's going to make your lives significantly easier when you are fighting the specimen screamer. These pillars in the middle actually serve a little bit of a purpose. If you're on the other side of a pillar, when the screamer yells, his scream will not affect you. Dude, do you know how huge of a discovery? Oh, that, okay, I, I literally just did not follow the advice that I gave myself. <laughs> but dude, this is a massive discovery that we're gonna be able to utilize to make this boss like significantly easier. And that should just be kind of like the goal of any kiting that you are doing. So I don't anticipate taking any more damage from this fella. We're just gonna continue running around. And yeah, as long as you are on the other side of one of those walls, the way he does his little yelling shindig, you're good to go. 
you're nice and safe. So before we bring him to that threshold where he's going to, uh, well, try to summon his next victim to attack us, I want to bring him all the way over here as much as I can. Yeah, that's right. Come this way, Screamer. Come this way, buddy. Come this way, buddy. A little bit further. Nice, 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 nice. We're going to get one shot off on him. Two shots over there. We're going to slow-mo that fella, right? So hopefully he's a little bit slower. Getting over to us. We're going to be a little bit careful for this yell that's coming in. And then hopefully finish the job on this fetid corpse over there. Dude, this gas mask literally just saved our butt. So yeah, as long as you are kind of focusing on pretty much... You want to have the screamer run around a little bit during each one of these areas. Our gas mask we don't really need anymore. Oh, I hope he's not about to catch up to us. He was almost there. But yeah, focus on killing the little... Like the... Like his little minions first. And then focus on bringing his health down. I don't know what this third specimen is going to be. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Let's get a little bit of damage into him, though. And he should be summoning him after, like, one more bolt. So I'm going to let him do his little scream over here, be on the other side of this. Get a couple of those shots in, and let's see who we got to face over here. Oh, is it Toxic Spewer? Oh, not this dude. Oh, no. Okay, we just got to make sure that we are avoiding that. Make sure that we're on the other sides of those walls. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot that the Toxic Spewer freaking... Oh, we got to dodge out of there. Dude, I forgot. He heals when he walks into that stuff. Toxic Spewer, you are literally the worst. Oh, and it does a lot of damage, too. Okay, we took him out, though. We took him out. We took him out. We took him out. Toxic Spewer, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to wait for all this acid to wear off because it can damage us as we run into it before we go and prepare for the next one. Our current Kalashnikov 47 is about to break. We just want to get a little bit of separation over there. Let's toss in the new one that does have the piercing blow, all the stuff, all the attachments that we want. How's our pistol looking? Looking pretty good. We're not using it too much. The slow-mo function is also really handy because we shouldn't be able to slow-mo him before he like, I don't know, to kind of like prevent him from catching up to us a little bit too quickly if maybe that comes in handy. So I'm going to go and boop. Hey, with the slum over there. Who am I dealing with next? Who's up next? Who's up next? The Exploder. Holy guacamole. Not who I was looking forward to dealing with. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't catch up to me. Please don't catch up to me. We got to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to let the, the Exploder do his thing over there. I know this guy might get a yell off on us. Nope. We successfully evaded that. And then we're going to... Oh, no. I was not aware of that. Was not aware that that was a thing. Oh, we got to we gotta watch out. We got to watch out. Those parasites will kill us if they catch up to us. It's all good. We took out the parasites, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I think the specimen screamer is about to fall. And it's thanks to that strategy we're using where you got to use these pillars to your advantage. And then I'm going to let this guy come one more over this way. Come on, buddy. Get that one. Get one last yell off. I'm a nice fella. I'm going to let you get one more yell into the abyss before it's your time to die. He has been defeated. And the first boss of season two falls at our hands. Oh. And he actually drops good loot. Kafir, thank you so much for listening to us. Like, you guys don't understand. Back in the past, this wasn't a thing. Like, in season one, they weren't dropping this type of good loot. And, uh, yeah, it's rather good. Now, unfortunately, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory, so I can't pick everything up. And I don't know if this stuff's going to be here when I come back. So we might need to pick and choose a little bit. So I'll... I'll sacrifice that biker magazine. Jane's going to love that. So, yeah, definitely want to bring that home for her. Let's get the little bit of hydration off, and then we'll toss that away. And I will grab... Uh, eh, I kind of want... Uh, yeah, we got a couple of steel plates back at home. We also have plenty of gas masks back at home. I'll leave the gas mask behind for now. Hopefully his body's still around and we can come back to it. But there you lads and lassies have it. Our very first boss battle of Season 1 officially being taken down. I... Hopefully we can come back here and kind of like recover some of the stuff that we just lost We also have a new note that we got to go ahead and read but so far season two dude This is so much better than season one We've just battled the first boss of multiple and like it's already looking freaking dope Oh, and we teleport back to our motorcycle that I actually brought along this time. What's up my dude? Do you have anything to say? Also, I might actually kill this cocoon. So I'm like 99% sure killing cocoons is actually one of the things for our quest line that we gotta do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that boss battle, what you guys think of that strategy, because seriously, those pillars are the key to success and pretty much just focus on killing whatever minion gets summoned. And watch out, because as we just witnessed, the exploder, um, you can't really kill him before he blows up. He's kind of guaranteed to blow up, and you got to make sure to take out his parasites because the screamer, like, it's he summons so many minions that are just super annoying because the riot zombies, they pretty much stun you, right? And I guess, like, this guy's not going to tell us anything else. We're just going to go ahead and dip, go back to Barker's camp after we check out this new event as well. But each of his minions work in such an interesting way with this special effect because that, oh, this is something new, maybe? Uh, nothing super special, but, uh, yeah. This infected zone... 
what is going on over here? I want to get to the bottom of it, and I want more eyeballs. Oh, speaking of which, I got some eyeballs over the, that infected base that I got to go and grab. That is still the infected base, right? Um, I didn't, like, because there's still some stuff over there. I hope that it didn't respawn. Actually, I'm a little bit paranoid. I left my eyeballs. As weird as that sound, I left my eyeballs over here. So we're going to go and grab those. But it's so interesting the way that it works. Because that, that like, yell, it stuns you. And then the ride zombies, they keep stunning you. So eventually, you're just stuck in a stun cycle. The boss gets to you, and he kills you. Because he does a lot of damage, right? Uh, whatchamacallit. On the other hand, the corpse, like, if you get stunned while he's farting and doing his smelly thing, uh, that's not a fun situation to be in either. If anything, that's going to be a pretty painful one. Especially if you don't have that gas mask. Slow motion definitely helped us take him out with our pistol active skill mod, but still a little bit of a tricky situation. 100%. After that, who was the third zombie? That was like the spewer. That's just super annoying because if he spits on you, like that stuff does damage over time. Uh, like if you get screamed at while that's happening, like you could, you could very easily die getting stuck in that. And there's also the fact that the toxic spewer heals when he walks into his own spew. And if the screamer's screaming, it kind of like prevents you from killing him so he gets a chance to heal, which makes it incredibly obnoxious. And then finally, the exploder. Like, if you get yelled at and those parasites get to you eventually, GG. I think three parasites will insta-kill you regardless of how much uh, armor that you have. Hello, tainted zombies. Holy guacamole, there's a lot of you. What? I did not expect this warm of a welcoming party. Well, no worries. Oh, there's more of y'all spawning. Well, ain't that inter- Oh, wait, what? How many of you people are there? I was not expecting this big of a welcoming party. I should have prepared my shotgun rain. Nay, I will prepare my shotgun rain for the next time a big old group decides to run up on us. Because I definitely know that it's coming. Oh, baby, we got eyeballs. Dude, we might be able to make that freaking uh, saw blade mace or whatever, too, from this. What's the point of the zone? Is this zone literally just, like, killing these zombies for fun and, like, collecting their loot? Because if so, no complaints. Because I need me some eyeballs, as weird as that sounds. Or is there actually, like, something we could do in this zone? I don't know, but we will investigate and get to the bottom of predicament and figure out what incarnation is going on as we continue going through the quest line and all that. Make sure you guys have the notification bell to stay up to date as we continue checking all of this stuff out and showing off everything that this quest line has to offer. Yeah, this might just be like a zone where just a ton of enemies kind of spawn up on you. Hello, my dudes. You want to die a little bit? Thank you. Come again. Uh, I'll toss a pistol over there so ready to use that. Yeah, like, I don't know. They keep spawning. What's that thing in the middle? Is that just a cocoon or is that like, uh, yeah, there's a cocoon in the middle. I wonder if it's the cocoon that- Holy guacamole, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, yeah, let's, back, let's gather them around for a big old blast of shotgun rain. Goodbye to y'all. Hello to your loot. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, so I think that this zone's pretty much just kind of like a designated zone to come kill infected zombies for tasks and uh, get yourself some items as well. Oh, my God, that is a lot. Hold up. Shotgun rain's almost rejuvenated, boys. If you could just hold off a little bit longer, I got quite a nice surprise for you. Shotgun rain. And that should take out a good chunk of them. We'll put the finishing blows in. I want to see if that cocoon actually ended up dropping anything too. Because I see something. Like, there's some kind of loot here. Yeah, it's another eyeball. Uh, is that all that this zone has? And just people are going to continue spawning? Because, like, we killed the cocoon. And no one else is spawning. So maybe killing the cocoon ends the vicious cycle? In which case... I wonder if keeping the cocoon alive could be a strategy if you're just coming here for eyeballs? And also, we got 17 of them puppies, so, uh, <laughs> we should have the capability to actually craft up some of those very cool infected modded weapons. And that's something that I think we'll do. But, uh, for now, I got priorities, which is making my way back over here and seeing what is next on Barker Schmorgus board. See if he has, like, another base for us to go to. Anything like that. How are we looking here in terms of, oh, we got more diary entry. Oh, we got a lot of diary entries. No, number five, something terrible has happened in the lab. The tracks are like those of the wave of the dead. But what are they doing here? Barker's guys managed to fight back, but some of them died. They say that Salt, a bioengineer, might have barricaded it in one of the rooms. He is responsible for the research. I have to get him out and find out what has happened. Okay, Salt said that when they came, everyone had been already dead. He managed to find out that the preventative gave away gateway was damaged. That's why particles from Charlie's corpse had gotten into the outside environment. It's attracted the dead. They must have instinctively thought that there was a cocoon here. I'll try to clean up here. So Charlie's connecting to all of this from season one. Okay, I see how it is. This beast turned out to be extremely creepy. It might be one experimental object with transplanted stem cells. It seems that there was a whole range of experiments here. I have to tell Barker about that when I come back to the camp. And the reward, I will start cashing in on some of these puppies. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate those. And 
Yeah, Barker, I got some news for you. You'll never believe what I had to fight over there. Holy guacamole. That was quite the interesting time. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that boss battle and what you guys thought of the infected zone as well in that comment section down below. Not to mention, if you guys are hyped for season two and what we're getting so far and for y'all to check this stuff out by yourselves, make sure to let me... Why did this person die? You should have killed them right away. Uh... That's Hendrix Snooper. They've been gunning for me for a long time. Barker, what you talking about, bro? But I managed to crack him and he gave the others away. I'll mark the place on your map. I'm going to hunt down the military? Dude, what are we getting ourselves into? Holy guacamole. Is there like another quest line over here? Yeah, another diary entry. Dude, I love this. Just by playing the game and sequentially doing stuff, like we, we, we unlock notes. This is what I'm talking about. Not just grinding a billion zones trying to find them. When I came back to the camp, Salt was dead. Barker had thought he was a traitor and killed him, but I'm sure Salt knew more than he managed to tell. Turns out only those lab workers that set off to get infected tissue samples are alive, and Barker wants me to get them back to the camp. I don't like all this. Yeah, Barker's up to something sketchy, but you have Kevlar armor. So I'll, 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 I'll go with it, man. Because maybe I could get some, and maybe this infected sample. That looked nice in my base. I'd like me a little bit of a trophy. But uh, yeah, with the eyeballs, we'll definitely bring some weapons over here and uh, get these modified to their infected versions and show those off as well. No need to sweat, ladies and gentlemen, but let's go on over to the next area and uh, see what awaits us, shall we? Where are you going to send us off to, Barka? Where do we got to go? Is the old base still going to be here? Or is that going to like be... Last time the scientists were seen near this forest. That doesn't look good in that little picture. Uh, no, it's actually over there. That's going to be around for 20 hours. Okay. And then over here, we got that. That might just be a timer because, again, I am checking out... Uh, whatchamacallit? I am alpha testing this update right now, trying to find all the bugs and make sure that when it does fully release, that you guys all like get the best experience possible. So uh, these might not be the final timers that we are seeing. And that is also the reason that we have all three tasks or all three weeks unlocked for right now. So we can just kind of like also show off like what future tasks you guys can expect. So feel free to like pause the video over here and kind of like give it a bit of a bit of a closer look ski doodle but we actually managed to knock out like cleaning up the laboratory at the soldiers infected base i'm guessing we're doing the week two thing right now so i'm guessing what we're about to do is gonna be like the week two event if that makes sense and then like there's some dude like drinking five bottles of whiskey like there's some pretty nice tasks throughout all of this like it is not too shabby but all right let's make our way over to the research area and uh, see what this is all about. But let me know what you guys are thinking of season two of the stuff that we have checked out so far. What you are most excited to try. What you think of the boss battle. Any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. Is it the weekly trial? Duh. At your such place. Store gift card giveaway. All I got to do as well is make sure to like button. Make sure to subscribe. That will ensure you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and turn it on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick random videos for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well, so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well, and all of the Season 2 stuff that we are checking out, because we're going to continue checking out and showing off all that Season 2 has to offer, and especially with this new update getting dropped, expect a good chunk of videos uh, coming your way, so make sure that you guys are subscribed with that notification bell hit as well to stay up to date with those videos as they do come out. And as we continue taking out these tainted zombies, and getting out of some eyeballs and uh i should probably store these in my chopper i might actually go and do that real quick like let me just say probably not a good idea to be wandering around with those because if we somehow permanently die i'm not trying to lose all of those eyeballs we have gathered so far so let's go ahead take down this cocoon bye bye to you how big is this zone oh hello oh it's some researcher dudes it's a good thing it's finally over what incarnation happened my dudes we couldn't stop them was this like the infected zone we just visited where they just kept swarming you? We don't need help anymore. Y'all good? Stay away from us. Okay, wow. You're just gonna be rude like that hazmat dude? Why don't I go ahead and, uh, you know, you know what I think about that? Hey, 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 Zambi, look at these nice guys. Okay, he just walks right through him. He does not seem to care. <laughs> Dang it, I thought I could exact some revenge on these freaking scientists. At least I could exact some shotgun rain on the tainted blota over there. And, uh, yeah, dude, they're collecting this tree. Oh, if I had a hatchet, I would so chop down their tree right now. Uh, I'll just use up a medicate for now, make sure that we are at full health. What's the next note say? Because we're making pretty good progress in this diary over here. Note number nine. Seems Barker is hiding something. He didn't tell me that his people had run away. I think one of the lab workers realized that the experiments with Charlie's cells would come to no good. In that case, I think I'm going to pretend that I trust him. Oh, 
So, Barker is doing some sketchy things. That is my understanding of things. By the way, I'm going to continue destroying these cocoons because I'm pretty sure destroying cocoons is like one of the quests. You're like doing a certain amount of damage to cocoons as a quest. So, want to make sure that we are making steady progress in that as well. But yeah, make sure you have a notification bell. It's a great way to stay up to date with these new videos and these new updates as we check them out. When season three and future updates happen as well, oh baby, we'll be checking those out as well. And I wonder if that's a special type of oak clearing or just a normal one. Because we did see in season one kind of like an interesting version of the oak clearing event. But uh, back to Barker as we go. Let's see where this ends up taking us. But dude, I love this new like quest system. There's kind of like a storyline to season two. That's probably one of my favorite parts of what we are seeing. Let me know what you guys are thinking in terms of like your favorite thing of season two. But that's probably up there is uh, this whole kind of like quest line. Did you just kill another man, Barker? Oh no, same dead guy. Hey, what's up, my guy? I hope they got what they deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're totally dead. Definitely died. I'll give you the data about four more of Hendrix's people. Is this man just paranoid and think everyone's out to get him? Search the surroundings. You know what to do. They're still looking for me, but we'll be the first to find them. Am I just like uh, the hitman here? I think I might be. We're also halfway through with the notes, which is pretty nice. According to Barker, Salt managed to inform the HQ on our location. This means that four agents must be already on their way. I think they might try to get a good position and go through the Pine Grove or Wood. I have to intercept them and try to eliminate them. Well, that sounds like something that uh, I could arrange. Helping my man out, Barker. You know, definitely not planning a long con betrayal. Definitely not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> definitely not the nefarious left. What? What? Wait, where do I go to? Where, where do you want me to go? There's nowhere to go. Is it this? Hold up. What did it say? Diary. According to Barker, Salt managed to inform HQ on our location. This means that four agents must be already on their way. I think they might try to get a good position and go through the... Oh, Pine Grove or Wood. I have to intercept them and try to eliminate. So now it actually involves us, like, checking out nearby zones. Dude, like, this is awesome. Like, why couldn't Season 1 have been this? Like, Season 2? You're the opposite of Season 1. Season 1 and 2. I spit on you even harder than I spit on you in the first episode of this update. Like, uh, Season 2, I want to put you up on, like, a Holy Grail or something. Because this is... This is engaging. This is fun. There's new stuff. Uh, like, I really hope that some of this stuff, like, kind of carries over after the update. Or, uh, whatchamacallit. Not after the update, but after... Yeah, after season two's over, like... I hope some of this stuff is, like, still a thing, you know? Oh, baby, there's a scout! You see that? Did he drop his gun? No, his Everything disintegrated, man. Why you do this? Oh, we got the wolves. Hello, wolves. Uh, goodbye, wolves. Yeah, is there... So I guess like the scouts are just gonna jump us. He said there's four of them. Um, they're just gonna run up on us at some point. Cause that guy is, yeah, that's like all that that guy did. Oh, no, that's a toxic spitter. Thought that that might've been the dude. Let's finish him. I'm not seeing any more scouts. Maybe it's just like one per zone. I'm gonna continue roaming around a little bit here. I don't wanna give up too early. Like maybe they've all taken different positions. We might need to maybe go like back and forth between the wood zone and the grove zone. To kind of get to the bottom of what's going on. And we got a couple more enemies. Like, I'm not going to give up yet. As long as there's enemies. Oops, sorry about the burp there. I got a little bit of hope. Our eyeball collection is coming along very nicely. That is just the weirdest sentence to say, but it, it is coming along nicely. Oh, Roman zombie. You got my hopes up. I thought that there might be an eyeball in you. No, no eyeballs for us. So, yeah. Just one scout in this zone. Let's go and check out uh, zone number two. And see what that's all about the pine woods i believe it was but yeah dude especially like, i'm like i, I want to bask in the glory of season two right now but the way like just how much season two improved over season one the amount of hope i have for season three has skyrocketed my roof non-existent it was shattered through how high my hopes just shot through it at light speed like freaking dope man i want to see where this storyline goes too so like plenty of videos coming your way as well and Definitely chime in, like I'm saying, let me know what you guys are thinking of this season so far and your favorite aspects, because, like, I like I can't even, I can't really pick, like, one thing that's my favorite, except maybe Kevlar, <laughs> but, like, so many things are just, like, good about this, and then remember, guys, that what we are doing here is going to be split out over multiple weeks, since we are in the process, we are currently, like, alpha testing this right now, uh, what this means is that we kind of have access to all of the weeks in a shorter period of time, just so, oh, hello, scout dude, how you doing, buddy? Goodbye to you. Why does all your stuff disintegrate, man? But we have access to uh, shorter time windows for every week. 
So pretty much, is that another scout? No, I thought he was better. Uh, so pretty much we just have like, we can more quickly test all of the stuff and make sure to find any bugs because sometimes there are those nasty bugs that might not get caught at first. But you know, when, for example, I am alpha testing it, well, guess what? I might be able to come across one of those bugs and make sure that Kafir takes care of it before the full update does come out because we do not want any bad bugs going out to you. Because I remember, dude, back in the day, back, back in my day, what was it? Like the loot me glitch? Any of your old heads, your, your real last day on earth historians, you guys might know what I'm talking about. That was where literally like an update came out and people's like people randomly logged in with other people's accounts and like their bases were completely different. It was like such a weird thing, but like, you know, the ability to actually bug test stuff ahead of time and actually be able to like find those things before like global updates happen is super useful. I see why Kafir does it. And I'm more than happy to help because I want you guys to be able to have like the best experience with this as possible. But uh, without further ado, I, from what I'm seeing so far with this, I think it might be one scout per... Yeah, ah, uh, maybe there's another scout. No, it's not gonna spit her over there. Oh, shot's going to rain. Holy guacamole, we got a lot of enemies on us. Yeah, the vibes I'm getting from this is I'm not going to be killing all of y'all. I'm I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, that, that's plenty for me. Uh, the vibes I'm getting from this is that it looks like one scout spawns in each zone. So we just got to run over to the grove. And then we got to run over back to the woods. And we should be good to go again. If I am not mistaken. Over to the grove. Psych, actually. I'll drop a little bit of coinage over there because, dude, now, like, your extra energy doesn't go to waste when you, like, purchase, like, uh, whatchamacallit, refill your energy. Like, your extra energy is safe. Like, it actually gets used towards your travel instead of just being like, oh, okay, we refill you to 100, then we use your energy. They, like, partially use some energy, like the rest of your energy you have, refill you, and then give you the rest, if that makes sense. Shotgun raid. Oh, don't spit on me, bro. I'm trying to be like squeaky clean today, you know? I got, I got interviews coming up. I'm not trying to be a smelly lad for those. And boop, let's go and heal on up over there. Did we kill any tainted zombies? Cause I'm really looking for uh, the good stuff. Is this the scout? Yeah, scout McGee, what's up my guy? Let me put the finishing touches in you. You stay away from Barker and yeah. Oh, I actually dropped his gun too. Hey, thank you, man. All those pants disintegrate into thin air. His pantalones were not up to par. And uh, yeah, I mean, from what we saw, it looks like only one spawns in each zone. So I'm just going to check that out because the main reason we're going to these zones right now, like I'm trying to progress in the story. I'm trying to show off all the story stuff. I know that there's some stuff we could do and we could be more productive, but I want to show off new stuff for you guys. So you guys know what to expect. So you guys can prepare for this stuff and also just to see how freaking dope it is. So after we take out one more scout, I wonder if the scout's actually going to like drop a note because usually like uh, killing things uh, like I, I wonder if it's gonna give us some backstory because it looks like like that's been happening a couple of times with uh like some of the npcs we've interacted with if i'm not mistaken the scout should pop up within like hey i think that's him just spawning in right there what's up buddy oh no actually i was i was worried about him for a second but yeah we got a new quest note okay beautiful i was worried about him for a second but then i realized that his uzi fires so slow dude did we find a basement here Yo, what? Is this like... Hold up. Is this like... Was, is this like part of the quests? Or like... I, I, is this just a coincidence? I'm not sure. Let's see, let's see what the note says over here. Uh, all four of them were armed well. Seems the HQ decided to mop up and eliminate the deserters and all those involved in a circus. Dang. I feel sorry for those guys. These are just pawns in this game. Time to go back to Barker. I have to be careful. Act like I don't suspect anything. Okay. Before we do that, I'm just going to run into this basement real quick because I think literally entering a basement is a task. So I'm just trying to chalk me up a couple of freebie points. Uh, we won't really go too ham in this basement because actually, I mean, we could give it a quick look. Hey, what's up, my dude? Okay, is that I'm, I'm going to go. That's not a good sign. He usually guy walking away, limping, dies in front of your eyes. Yeah, I'm going back to Barker. My man Barker, he's got Kevlar armor. I feel safe with them nearby. That Kevlar armor just just makes you feel some type of way. That's why I can't wait to get my grubble of fingers on it, lads. Oh, ho, ho, baby. That is going to be satisfactory. Alrighty, though. Onwards we go. Barker. I'm coming home. All right. 
We're back, Barker. Yeah, you kill any other people here? You got any more sneaking suspicions? Nice. The only thing left to do is deal the decisive blow to Hendrix. He surely doesn't expect that. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Go to the lab where it all started. Oh, me. Oh, my. It's time to show him this. He started this war in vain. Holy guacamole. We're going to go take down the colonel of the military. Dude, what's this note saying? What are we getting ourselves into? There's still eight more notes, so I feel like we still got some other stuff to check out. Barker sent me to the second laboratory. Actually, he sent me to clean up, but in practice, I can act based on the situation. Barker doesn't want the HQ to learn the results of his experiments. That means that the results are bad or that or there are no results at all. I'll find that when I get there. Well, well, well. That's something that we're going to be going to go ahead and do it. In the next episode of Last Day on Earth, survivals will continue checking out season two and going through this storyline of this significantly better season. Just, she's just better, man. There's no other way of putting it, and I cannot wait to dive into it. I can't wait to drop some of these videos, and hopefully y'all cannot wait to check them out either. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. Oh, hold up, we got a wave. See ya.